This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Delmarva Dental Services. Question for you, how's your oral health these days? Did you know that the state of your oral health can affect your body systematically? Yeah, your mouth matters, and that's why it's important to practice healthy habits. It's also why sometimes in order to move forward with procedures, your dentist might need to get you medically cleared. Mm -hmm. That's something that comes up from time to time for our friends at Delmarva Dental Services. Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli stops by the office in Salisbury to learn more. The staff here at Delmarva Dental Services is without a doubt dedicated to helping your oral health thrive. Sometimes that means a patient needs a medical clearance in order to proceed with a certain process. So there are two different types of medical clearances that we deal with in our office. So one of which is a clearance that we send to a patient's physician, a cardiologist, oncologist, um, requesting just additional information about um, whether or not they need a procedure or have had a procedure, and we just need a little bit more information about that. And the second, according to Dr. Jessica Harrison, their physician will send a clearance to our office mm -hmm. asking for clearance on their behalf to ensure that their dental health is up to par and ideal because they need a procedure or uh, something done medically and they need to have good oral um, health care before that procedure is done. Dr. Harrison says this comes up a few times a month for various reasons. So typically a medical clearance would be needed if a patient, uh, let's say, has osteoporosis. Um, so they're losing some bone uh, and they need to start a bisphosphonate treatment, which will um, kind of stop that loss of the bone. Uh, a lot of times their physician or uh, doctor will want a clearance stating that they are free of dental infection or if there's any teeth that might need to come out, that those treatments and extractions are done prior to the start of these bone loss treatments, um, mostly called bisphosphonates. She adds that medical clearances also come up if a patient is in need of joint replacement or has high blood pressure. Sometimes different situations will call for an adjustment in medications, especially if a person is on blood thinners. So a lot of times if we need to do a treatment that requires um, a little bit more of a surgery, like an extraction, we'll get a clearance from their physician asking if they need to stop their blood thinner prior to us doing the extractions. When it comes to these clearances, Dr. Harrison says patients are typically, well, patient. And I think they understand that we want to ensure that we're treating them safely and the way that we do that is we get these clearances if need be and they're pretty receptive and understanding about it. Uh, they, they do want to get the treatment done that they need here dentally uh, you know to move forward with with what they need to do um, but we want to make sure that we do it safely. It helps that the form is quick and easy. It's just a general um, consult form, a clearance form, where we just put the patient's name on there and what they presented for. Um, sometimes we'll put on there, you know, these are the conditions or this is uh, the blood pressure readings that we got here at our office and just ask for the physician to evaluate it uh, to move forward with, with the care that we need to, to give. Dr. Harrison says it typically only takes a few days to trade the information, so there's not often a delay in treatment. And after all, Safety is supreme. You know, we we want to ensure that our patients are, you know, in good health and and we're doing things safely. And we, I think, I think physicians and, and doctors of the patients are very receptive to receiving these clearances because we're kind of all on the same page and we want to see that the patient is receiving the best care. Because it's not just about oral health, it's overall health too. And Dr. Harrison adds this is not something that typically comes up for children. It's mostly adults. But it all makes sense. And it's all good information for people to have. Mm -hmm.